Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video and I'm working in my traveler's notebook about the books I read. Today's book that I'm working on is called This Is Home by Lisa Duffy. And I actually did this as an audiobook. I use a service called Chirp. If you've watched my videos, you've heard me mention it before. Similar to Audible, except you don't need a subscription, you just buy what you want. And I had a bunch of books sitting there that I bought for really cheap, they were good deals. And I thought, I gotta start getting through some of these. So this was one of them, and I loved this. It's a story about a triplex, effectively. Each unit on a different floor has different people living there. And so it's about how the lives of all those people start to intertwine and what happens to them. So it's a good family story. It's a good story about chosen family, if you wanna look at it that way too. And I just really enjoyed it. And the person who did the narration was very good. So I would recommend it. So I have that. And I know I want to use some yellow in the background because this lovely yellow color comes out quite nicely in the photo. I also know that in my stamps, I want to use a newer stamp set that I have. I wanted to use it in my last video that I did and it didn't work. None of the phrases fit what I wanted. But here... I think I want to do this one, the circle that says loved listening to this, because I know I also have a lot of circular elements. I have a whole bag of circles that I just keep that I can use whenever they are fitting. So I think I want to do that, but that's all I have to start with today. All right, I went through my stash of papers to find something yellow, and I found this little scrap piece of paper, which I love, and I think I want to use it because I love that yellow. I love how it contrasts against the blue. Pretty, pretty good, I think. And I think I want it somewhere up here because my last layout that I did, I had the photo and a block of paper down below. So I want to mix it up a little bit. And I might even kind of overlap it like that maybe. That gives me an option to put something over there. I could do that loved listening to this here. I could do it kind of off center at the bottom somehow and then still have room to journal and I may tear the bottom edge of this too just because I have extra I don't need all of that and it would make it visually interesting I think to have kind of a jagged edge there I did decide to go ahead and rip the edge because as I was thinking more about the book their lives are pretty ragged in some parts and then they have to figure out kind of how to all come together and live together and make it work. So I felt that was kind of fitting. So I'm going to attach it. Up here, I'm actually gonna remove that just for a second because I think, or do I want it down a little bit and then overlap my photo? Maybe I do, so maybe I'll go like that, not quite to the top. And that's gonna put it right into the crease there. Will it close? Yes, okay, perfect. And then I can do my photo on top. All right, so I have adhesive on my photo, it's ready to go. So I think I'm going to overlap it to the top just like that, not quite all the way to the top edge, but pretty close, I think about like that. Yeah. I like how that looks, that it's not perfectly square, it's a little off center. Their lives are off center, so that works. So I have that, and then I have all this room for journaling, plus then I can do my stamping. So I think what I need to do next is pick out one of my circles and decide what color I want and where to place it. So here's my bag of circles that I keep. Some of them are tags, some of them are just circles. Some actually have wording on them already. I separate them. So what's in the little bag back here are circular elements. I have some of these caught in there that already have things on them. So I doubt I will use any of those. So what I want are all the plain ones. So I'll have to go through there, find some colors that I like, and then decide. So I went through a bunch of the blank circles that I had, and the only one I found that I liked was this one. And it actually has a grid pattern in it, but I'm okay with that. I think when I stamp this, it would still look okay. So I think I'm gonna go with that one, and I will probably either overlap it here or tuck it under or something, but I think it's gonna go right here. Again, kind of off center, overlapping everything, and then I'll still have plenty of room for journaling down below. So I do want to show something. This is a brand new stamp. And when I use brand new stamps, I season them first. And I just take the edge of a pencil eraser here and I just 
go like this over the stamp and that just helps get off some of the stickiness when it's brand new and it primes it and gets it ready to accept ink. So I have that done. Now I will go in and I will actually do a test stamp first just to make sure that the coverage looks even, that it's ready to go, and then I'll stamp on there. All right, so there it is now that I've stamped it and I love the way that looks. I love that it's got se sequential rings in there too, plus just that subtle grid background. I like it and I don't think it overly competes with this background. You still get that lovely yellow showing through, so I'm very happy with that. So let's see here. I can attach it right now. So I think, do I want it kind of tilted or just straight, maybe straight on there, but overlapping both things, the photo and the yellow paper. There we go. Oops. All right. So now I can put in some lines and I'll figure out, do I want to add any other embellishments maybe up here to the side to overlap or maybe at the bottom of the journaling? Okay. So now I have my journaling lines, but I definitely think it needs something else at the bottom. So I'm going to go into my stash of embellishments and phrase labels and die cut things and see what can I do that might work there. So when I went into my stash of stuff, <laughs> I found this, which I know I made myself on the Project Life app because I have several others that look the same here. And so I just did some phrases and cut them all out together. So I think this one is appropriate because as I was getting to the end, I remember being so tired <laughs> trying to finish it, but I just, I had to know how it ended and I was into it. And so I just wouldn't stop, so I went to bed very late that night. So this is quite appropriate. I have added that down there, but I feel like I still need something. So I think I'm going to look for like a little star here that I could do. And I'm wondering maybe if I need like a darker blue that's pictured here or just black because I'll definitely have black journaling and I have black ink already on there, but we'll see. So I pulled out this little bag of stars that I have. Originally, I was thinking like a puffy sticker or something, but I think I'm going to use this little black acrylic star I have and put it somewhere around here. Ooh, not on the photo, but maybe overlapping the circle or even maybe just right there. Who knows? I decided to glue that on right there, kind of in the apex here of where these two things meet. And I'm really happy with that. And I don't think I need to do anything else with this one, actually. So it's done. So here's another one finished for my TN About Books. Thanks for watching.